Hello crypto enthusiasts. Have you ever wanted to trade Bitcoin directly with individuals without a third party? Well, peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin trading platforms allow you to do just that. They provide a secure decentralized way to buy and sell Bitcoin while connecting you with a vast uh, network of traders. And we've discovered a platform that offers exceptional features introducing to you HODL HODL. So HODL HODL is a revolutionary peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin trading platform and it has gained tremendous popularity among crypto enthusiasts. In this video, we're going to cover on what is HODL HODL and how to use it to buy and sell Bitcoin peer-to-peer -peer, and most importantly, without KYC. Let's get into it. So first off, what is HODL HODL? Again, peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin trading platform and it is non-KYC. All you need is to sign up using an email address and password. So no uh, personal information is going to be required to sign up and have a HODL HODL account. Once you have a HODL HODL account, you are able to either make offers for selling Bitcoin or you're able to be a buyer of Bitcoin. And being a buyer and what to use in order to buy Bitcoin, whether that's fiat, other cryptocurrencies, or whatever that is uh, can be used to buy Bitcoin is dependent on that offer. So there'll be a list of different offers of individuals, anonymous individuals who are making a description of what they would accept for their Bitcoin at a certain rate or a certain price. So we'll go to hodlhodl.com and after creating an account, which is very easy, I want you to have a uh, email address that's been used you have to confirm that email address by going to the email and hitting the confirmation button you will go here and uh, you can create an offer now once what that means you'll cl you'll click here and to create a new offer this you will be somebody who is selling Bitcoin you would either want fiat or you maybe want stable coin or whatever that you want there may be a, a buyer out there who is willing to uh, buy using so as a to create a new offer you would say I want to sell Bitcoin for instance you can choose any exchange rate that you would like so you may want to use the rate that's being used at Bitfinex BitPay and so forth you're also able to add margin if you would like a margin difference and you could say the amount you want to buy um, I'm sorry yep. You can say the amount you want to sell. So you may be wanting to sell um, a certain USD amount. So you can be very specific when you're creating a offer. Um, also, you're able to put into the description, the offer description. If you want maybe first to uh, verify someone, you may want to ask for a, another layer of security or verification. It's up to you as long as that uh, buyer wants to um comply and, and 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 take you up on that offer and they don't mind your rules as far as you being a seller of bitcoin and you have that you want to buy as well you'll get a various list of offers out there so you can pick and choose who you would like to buy bitcoin from heading over to buy bitcoin on the hodl hodl uh, website you go to buy bitcoin tab you'll see here there's going to be a list of uh anonymous users who are selling Bitcoin at various prices um, so you'll see here on the list of sellers we'll have uh, a person here named crypto six for instance he's selling Bitcoin at twenty nine thousand five hundred US dollars and um, there's a amount that there's a limited amount that he's willing to sell per transaction which is two hundred dollars worth roughly point zero zero six seven Bitcoin and the payment method that he chooses for his offer is Monero. So if you're a buyer and you have Monero, and if you're looking to get um, no more than 200 US dollars worth of Bitcoin, then he would fit your description as a offer that you would like to uh, engage with and do a transaction. Now, I'm going to tell you shortly, and this is a remaining list, so you can pick through. It is a free market in that sense. Now, when you decide on someone that you want to do a transaction with you the next step will be creating a contract so we'll go back to the hollow hollow screen and we're going to do a the individual we're going to look at the individual steps of what it takes in order to complete a full uh transaction here to buy bitcoin from a seller 
So the first step is you contract is contract creation, right? So once you pick that offer, you're going to immediately create a contract with that seller. Now that contract will have to generate a unique multi-sig escrow address on the Bitcoin blockchain. So you will have a password that you would have created when signing up for HODL HODL. We'll just go over to my profile. And this is a profile that I just made for purposes of this video. But in HODL HODL, when you first create your account, you're going to have to enter in a password. This password would allow you to create a contract with a seller or if you're the seller with a buyer. And that is how you guys are going to conduct this Bitcoin transaction. So after both parties, you as the seller, for instance, and then the buyer, you both are going to enter in your passwords and that will create a contract. That's the contract creation. And then at that point, it's going to be pending for the seller to send his or her Bitcoin to the contract where it will be held in escrow until you as the buyer or the, if you're not the buyer, the buyer, him or herself actually makes the payment over to the seller. So the person who has the Bitcoin, they send their Bitcoin to that contract address after that address has been created by you both entering your passwords. And then once it's, once that Bitcoin is entered that contract, then it will let the, the buyer know that Bitcoin has arrived there. From that point only, then the buyer sends over the form of payment that's being requested of him via the offer. And then once they confirm that they've received it, the seller, then they'll release the Bitcoin from the contract. Okay. And so this is the last step, releasing and contract closure. Seller releases Bitcoins from multi-sig escrow directly to the buyer's wallet. And then the contract is complete. This is pretty much instantaneous. Um, after payment is received and then that the seller confirms it, they release it from the contract and it hits uh, your Bitcoin wallet, which is going to be also entered in to the contract as a as your wallet of choice to have the Bitcoin sent to. It's going to hit that almost instantly. Now, since I don't have a Bitcoin wallet open or any address that I would like to use right now to uh, buy Bitcoin from someone here, I'm just going to kind of walk you through the process of if I did have everything set up and I'm ready to make a Bitcoin purchase from someone here that's making an offer. So we'll start with Crypto6 who's selling Bitcoin for 29,500 and we are going to offer to buy Bitcoin. So I'm, um, I'm going to say that I want to buy Bitcoin and his limit that he's only doing or the, the amount that he's selling is just $200 worth. So let's say if I want to just buy $200 worth from him, which is roughly 0 0.0066 or 677 Bitcoin. We see what populated over here once I entered in the amount that I want to buy. They're giving me the trading fee. That's the fee that's going to be removed from the actual Bitcoin that's going to be transacted. It's going to be a total of a 0.6% fee, but it's split amongst the seller and the buyer. So I will be uh, uh, re obligated or I would be responsible for 0.3% um, from my amount that I'm receiving. And which would should give me a roughly about a total of uh, one hundred and ninety nine dollars and forty cents. So once I put in the amount, I can go here to the Bitcoin address and I can start and I can copy and paste a Bitcoin address um, that I would like. It could be from a private wallet or, you know, preferably a private wallet if I want to receive some Bitcoin. And the payment method will be Monero. I need to have uh, a Monero wallet or my Monero ready. So when I do click accept offer, when all this is filled in, the seller should give me further detail, possibly a Monero address for me to send that Monero over to once that Bitcoin that they're selling has hit the contract address and lets me know that it's ready for the seller to be paid. Yep, yeah, and that's really how it works in a nutshell. Very simple, very quick. Uh, also, HODL HODL has other services, uh, but we're focusing on how to purchase non-KYC Bitcoin and, and or sell Bitcoin if need be for whatever you choose. If you are the seller and you make an offer stating whatever form of payment you like. 
let me know what you guys think this has been a simple review and I will go ahead and leave a link in the description as well for you to do more research on Hoddle Hoddle to check out the site. Also to sign up if you are looking to purchase Bitcoin or sell Bitcoin peer-to-peer non-KYC. And during these times where you're seeing uh, a lot of third parties and financial institutions that are either collapsing or you know, if you may be distrustful of any third party with your crypto assets. So link in the description for HODL HODL. Check it out. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and also share this video if you found it helpful. And until next time, thank you for your time.